Welcome to our lecture online. Our next set of examples appear kind of complicated. We include something with x to the third power, so how do we simplify that? But if we look carefully, every term in the numerator and the denominator contains an x, which means we can factor out an x, and if we look at the numbers, notice that the numerator we can factor out of 3, and in the denominator we can factor out of 5, so things may not be as bad as they initially seem. Let's try that and see what we have left. So this can be written as, let's factor out a 3x, which leaves us with an x squared plus 3x minus 4 for the numerator. And in the denominator, when we factor out a 5x, we're left with an x squared plus 8x plus 16. And now we realize that things are not as bad as we thought. We should be able to factor the numerator and the denominator quite readily. So let's see what happens. So this is equal to 3x times the product of two binomials divided by 5x times the product of two binomials. Here we start with an x and an x. With the signs, one must be negative and one must be positive. And the positive one must be four big, uh, 3 bigger than the negative one. So how about a plus 4 and a negative 1? When I multiply, I get a negative 4. When I add, I get a positive 3. In the denominator, we start with an x and an x. Since all the signs are positive, we need two plus signs. Looking for two numbers, when I multiply, I get 16. When I add, I get 8, so that's 4 and 4. So that was rather straightforward. Now we'll look for common factors. Notice in the numerator, we have an x plus 4. In the denominator, we have an x plus 4, so that cancels. And here we have an x and an x, so that cancels. And we're left with 3 times x minus 1 divided by 5 times x plus 4. All right, that wasn't so bad. Let's see if the next one is similar to that. Again, notice we can factor out an x from both the numerator and the denominator. In the numerator, we can factor out a 4. In the denominator, we can factor out a 7. So this can be written as 4x times what's left, x squared minus 4x plus 4. In the denominator, when we factor out a 7x, we're left with an x squared plus x squared minus 6. Oh, not x squared, this is simply plus x minus 6. All right, now we can factor the numerator and the denominator even further. So in the numerator, we end up with a product of two binomials, and so will we in the denominator, a product of two binomials. For the numerator, we start with an x and an x. For the signs, since this is negative and this is positive, they both must be negative. And when we multiply, we get a positive 4. When we add, we get negative 4. So that's 2 and 2, or negative 2 and negative 2. For the denominator, again, x and x. For the signs, one must be negative, one must be positive. When we add, we get a positive 1, which means that the positive is 1 larger than the negative. So how about 3 and 2? Because when I multiply, I get negative 6. When I add, I get a positive 1. Now notice that both numerator and denominator contain an x minus 2. So that cancels out. And we have an x and an x. That cancels out as well. And we're left with, in the numerator, a 4 times x minus 2. In the denominator, we have a 7 times x plus 3. And that is how we simplify those rational expressions. And that is how it's done.